Welcome to Monday, everyone out there in Facebook Landia. I hope you're doing well. Gonna give you a little bit of movement and stretch to break up your day and hopefully re-energize you, maybe release some stress. Uh, all right, so let's let's do it. I'm gonna start with my feet hip width apart and nice, balanced in all the feet. A little bit of movement in the pelvis just to start out, rocking it back and forth. Using the low abs there, let your booty be soft. Really try to make it around the abs. And then just side to side. Getting comfortable with our bodies in space. Beautiful, and now come to the center and let's pull, use those low abs again to pull our tailbone so it's kind of pointing down to the ground as much as we can make it. Bend your knees a little bit. That will definitely help with that mobility in your pelvis. Take a nice deep inhale. Shoulders stay down, chest stays up. Do it again, inhale. Exhale, releasing, beautiful. Inhaling. Ah, releasing. So you're using now your middle abs. I'm just gonna get rid of this already. Using your middle abs to hug in around your spine and keep everything nice and supported. <clears throat> when we raised our arms up, we automatically lifted our chest. We're just gonna let it stay there and let the shoulders and the arms come down. So your upper abs should now be engaged, giving you a nice lift here. Ribs are ideally in alignment with your pelvis. Neck, shoulders, soft and released. So let's just do some swings. Mobilize our rib cage and remind our neck and shoulders that it doesn't need to do all the work to hold us up. It can just relax and be supported. Ah, nice way to just flow off some anxiety and stress too. That's gonna be a theme today, can you tell? That's what's going on in my life. <laughs> so you get the benefit, I hope, of it too. Nice, drop chin to chest and just roll your ear to one side, roll to the other. <sighs> Relaxing there. Beautiful. Coming back up to center. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Elbows stay straight to keep the mobility in your shoulders. So if you need to push them out to the sides a little bit, that's totally cool. Beautiful. And let's reverse the direction. So trying to get into all of your range of mobility. Go at the pace that feels good for you, always, right? No need to injure yourself. And then one shoulder goes back and then the other. Nice. Lots more movement in our rib cage. Let it go down into your knees now. So maybe your pelvis is moving around a bit. Lovely, let's go forward. So we're gonna, we're gonna work a little bit more today on our lungs and on some shimmies. So the lungs and the movement in our rib cage and the opening there specifically to help process a lot of what's happening in the world right now. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna give you a move while I talk. Uh, let's uh, roll down. Knees and toes stay pointing forward and just roll down to where it's comfortable for you. If you have any spinal injuries or osteoporosis, you're just gonna stay nice and tall. Just standing in mountain pose, lifting. All right, booty goes back, head drops. Roll again. So there's been so much happening in the world right now. Um, important things that need to shift and change to me. But it comes with a lot of um, emotion and um, it can actually come with a lot of grief. Um, and we don't wanna hold on to that, right? We wanna be able to process it and move through it. So we're gonna move our chests a good amount today, move that out, and um, then we're also gonna do some other shimmies. Again, just to help shake off 
um, stuff that's going on that we don't need to carry, right? Because carrying all that stuff doesn't help us move forward and make change. It just weighs us down and freezes us. So we're gonna start with some chest shimmies here um, and mobilizing that area. So for now, sliding your chest left and right. Beautiful, just pushing from one side to the other, getting space and movement. Breathing still, nice. And then let's push it forward and back. So elbows and shoulders are staying pretty still instead of it's the chest that's giving the movement. All right, let's push it forward, side, back, side, forward, back. One more round. And then we're gonna circle it, smooth it out. Take your time. And connect all those points. Great, stop in the center and we're gonna go forward, side, back, side. diamond last one and then smooth all those points out so as you're going around you might find one area that's a little sticky and doesn't move as much as the others go ahead and go really slow through that area see if that will help offer some movement all right so a little bit looser there hopefully let's do some chest shimmies so to start out, arms are crossed over and my fingers are on my shoulders. And so your elbows end up kind of pointing roughly where your nipples are. And as we're doing this, I want you to think about rotating one side of your chest forward, then the other. So like one nipple goes forward and then the other goes forward. And they're pretty big movements right now. That's fine. As you get comfortable there, we're gonna move our arms to the top of our shoulders and maybe make a little bit smaller of a movement. Lifting up underneath your arms. So using your lats and triceps to keep your upper arms lifted up. That's important. Extend, and we're gonna go a little bit smaller with the movement and maybe we speed it up. So still the same side to side movement the rotation. Staying lifted underneath your arms, especially the upper arms, and my lower hand, arms and hands are kind of just resting on a tabletop. They're not moving, and they're kind of curved to the front. That'll help you with your frame, and if you were on stage, it would help you retain dimension. Shimmy a little bit more, keep breathing. Stay lifted underneath your arms. This is a way you can twirl tassels if you so desire. Beautiful, a little bit more. Whew. A little bit more, see how loose you can get. Nice, and then circle. Release the holding. Beautiful, the other direction. Ooh, great way to mobilize, right? Build some heat, shake some shit off. Okay, let's go down to our hips and do some different hip shimmies here. So. Um, you can keep your feet uh, spread apart if you like. You can move them closer together if you want to train there. On stage, I prefer to be like this to make more of an hourglass shape. So I'm going to practice here. But you do what's good for your body. Nice deep bend in the knees. I'm going to push a quad back to the back wall. I'm not ever going to fully lock my knees out. They're still going to retain a tiny bit of a bend. And we're going to go back, 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 back. Faster, faster. Your booty's probably jiggling. Your belly might be jiggling. Your chest might be jiggling. Your arms might be jiggling. It's all awesome. It's all good. Ugh, feel that vibration releasing stuff, right? Just letting things you don't need fall away. <sighs> I realized though I've been doing these movements with all of you, which are wonderful. I really needed a like super hardcore, make me sweat, exhausting class to help me process stuff. Need a little bit more width. 
um, the shimmies are a great way to build a lot of heat. And if you kept doing it for quite a long time, you could actually, you know, build up a little bit of sweat and release quite a bit of stuff, right? Sweating helps us cleanse our bodies, but also our energy much of the time. All right, let's release that, shake that out a little bit. So different shimmy than I've um, really ever taught before. It's kind of fun. It's one that I've recently learned. Um, we're going to lift up our heels. So again, nice deep bend in the knees and lifting up the heels one after the other to make kind of a shimmy. So I can't wait to play with this one and my assholes, actually, the, the pasties with the tassels you put on your butt. I feel like this could be a way to make them twirl. I'll definitely post my results. Keep going. So the heels, just a tiny bit of a lift, the faster you go, yeah? Ah, ugh, that's a lot after doing all the other stuff. All right, release that. My legs are definitely feeling warm. I don't know about yours. Uh, let's see, let's do, let's do another, another couple shimmies. I'm gonna turn to the side to show you this one. So football shimmy, this is how I usually twirl assholes. So feet wider apart, actually I'll show you here, wider apart, so you have lots of space there. Um, they're kind of on the edges of my yoga mat, um, about that width apart. Um, I'm gonna bend over at the waist, bend my knees deeply, set my hands out like on a little table. I like to do them out to the sides because usually when I'm twirling assholes, my butt is to the audience. And if I do this, they can see that I have hands. If I do this, they won't see them. So to your pleasure. And then you're gonna start picking up one foot, then the other. Right? Hold in your core. Nice and strong there. And you're, you know, you're doing like the little, like the thing with football players do when they go through the tires. So go ahead and go forward. And go back. It's so fun. It's so fun. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Breathe. And release. Yay! Football shimmies. So fun, right? I apologize if I didn't warn you about going to the bathroom first. Uh, let's put out a leg here, heel, sit back in booty and pull the toes up. If you have the space to keep your back nice and strong, uh, long, uh, you can go ahead and pull up that toe, get a little bit of extra stretch to the calf. Breathing. Beautiful. Set that down. Let's come to the other side. So sitting back, pulling up. If you have stairs at home, you can do that awesome stretch where you put the front part of your foot on the stair and then let the heel drop. Nice, stretch out those calves. There, it's important to stretch them too. All right. Nice and warmed up, right? So the last thing we're gonna do is, um, it's sort of a shimmy, it's, we call it more of a vibration um, in the belly dance training that I've done because you're not alternating um, to shake, you are bending at the same time and it makes more, I guess, a vibration. I don't know, just, just that's how we call it. Bending your knees, nice and deep. You're gonna do little micro bends. It should make everything bounce up and down right and you can make it bigger or you can take it smaller so that it happens just a really tiny little bit either way big take it little tiny 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 <sighs> all right yeah that's a lot of heat in the legs let's take it down and get some stretches shall we so let's see oh we have to turn out the lunges let's do that so you're welcome to grab a chair and do the lunges on the chair if you like, have a wall for support, whatever is good for your body. Uh, we are gonna come down to the ground at some point, so you might wanna have just something handy in case you need to put it under your knee, or you can take a different type of lunge. Ooh. All right, so pushing down, hips and knees pointing in the same direction. Try not to splay out in, with the tailbone, but keep it tucked under makes for a lot more stretch in your hip flexor actually. Arms coming up if you want more stretch. 
core nice and solid. Reach over, go ahead and grab the wrist of the bent leg, or sorry, the leg that's back. Come on over towards your bent leg. Been doing a lot of talking lately. Words are becoming really hard. All right, inhale, release that. Nice, let's rotate everything to the front. We're gonna tip our toes in just a little bit, so a tiny bit pigeon-toed, bending at the waist. You can stop here and support yourself on your thighs if that's where it's good for you, or come on down to the floor if that's what's good for you. If you have the space, you can bring your forearms down. Pushing into the ground especially with the outside edges of your feet. I found that this is one of the ways that I can stretch those muscles on the sides of my lower legs, which is not always so easy. Beautiful, come on up part way, bend your knees, hands to your hips, and you can heel toe in a little bit. Rotate around to lunge on the other side. Coming on down. Make sure all your knees, toes, and hips are pointing the same direction. Tailbone is coming under. Whew. Stretching up if you'd like more stretch. Shoulders stay down. You can bend a little deeper. Grab that wrist of the straight back leg. Tip over to the side. Oh my goodness. Nice. Breathing. Beautiful. Inhale. Coming up. Let's go down one more time in the center. Maybe you have a little bit more space this time. Take it a little bit wider. Breathing, breathing. Enjoying that fresh clearing. Press again to your feet. And then come up, spread your feet out. We're actually gonna come down to the floor right here. Do it however is best for you. Let's do some twists. <clears throat> so I'm gonna actually just put my um, feet one in front of the other. I'm not gonna do too crazy pretzel stuff <clears throat> for twisting. Um, wherever you are, make sure both of your butt cheeks are solidly on the ground. And maybe uh, you can even feel your sit bones, your in the center of your butt touching. So remember, as we're twisting, uh, we want to fill up all the sides of our lungs. So the side body part, the front, the back, all the way from the base of the lungs down low up to, so it almost feels like it's coming into our shoulders, right? So a big balloon breath expanding out everywhere. It's really important when you're twisting to um, help open things up. So nice inhale. And from the waist, we twist back. Breathing here. Shoulders stay down. Exhale back to the front. I'm gonna to rotate to this side because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing with my hands behind me. Keeping the same cross right now because we're gonna go the other way. So inhaling, twisting down low. And I use my hand, especially in the back, to help push me up. 
so my body stays nice and upright and I can keep twisting open. Exhaling to the front, fabulousness. We're gonna rotate, switch legs. <clears throat> All right, so the back hand is, is kind of leveraging with uh, tented fingers to help you stay up and eventually twist more, but the shoulder stays down there too, okay? So inhaling and twisting. Front hand giving us a little bit of leverage but not forcing. Check in and make sure that your legs aren't coming up like this, that they're, you're not holding in your groin. Let those knees soften down to the ground. you are. Inhale. Exhale. Twist it back. Just adjusted my back a little. Oh, I just did it more. to the ceiling and let's just windshield wiper them back and forth. Very nice. Feeling good. All right. Extend your legs out in front of you. Check. You can make sure those sit bones are coming from the ground or at least that your whole butt cheek is spread out. You might want a little space to come forward through your legs. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, bending at the waist. Ooh, you can tell I'm tighter today. Keeping your neck nice and long. Your back nice and long for now. Supporting yourself wherever you need to. Maybe you're grabbing your feet. I am definitely wiggling help my body know it's okay to soften and stretch out. If you're ready for more stretch, you can press the bottom of your leg all the way into the floor. And now go ahead and point your feet. And if you want to challenge, see if you can keep your the bottom of your legs pressed into the ground. Flex, see if you can inhale, exhale, extend a little bit longer, maybe come down a little bit lower. Maybe your chest is on your thighs. And now go ahead and drop your neck and let your spine curve. Point your toes there. Flex them. Inhale, tuck your pelvis under and roll up. Ooh, that's nice, huh? Let's uh, come back. Um, let's do some hip stretches, actually. So cross your legs again. Feet are going to stay flexed while you're doing this. You are welcome to stack your legs if you're one of the people who that's comfortable for. <laughs> and you want to do that. No matter what, though, you're going to keep your feet flexed to protect your knees. And inhale nice and long and come forward. Ooh, yes, hips. Hello, hips. <sighs> Loving that. Oh, our hips do so much. They work a lot for us. And um, I have been told women in particular hold a lot of tension in their hips. <sighs> so 
it's important to stretch that area out. Keep our energy moving. Well, one more big breath in. <sighs> Inhale it up. Exhale back and swap it. So if it gets intense to sit in that position, you're welcome to wiggle and kind of vibrate yourself. Um, I'm a huge fan of that. I've probably said that a million times before, but it really helps release that stuck energy. Inhaling, exhaling, coming on down. Checking in, feet are still flexed. Both sides of your booty are equally touching the ground. breaths. Enjoy that space. <sighs> Inhaling. <sighs> Sitting into that. Let's do some spinal twists and then we'll do a straddle forward fold as I read the cards or the card for the week. So laying down, knees and toes for now up to the ceiling and then let us lift up one leg, just cross it over and then rotate down. You can spin your chest away from that. Softening down, letting it release. <sighs> Inhale, everything rolls up to the ceiling. Exhale, uncross, and inhale, cross the other direction, and then let your knees fall down to that side. Rotate your chest away, turn your head away if you like. So if you're feeling one side being tighter than the other, I certainly am, you are welcome to go back to that side and do a little bit more stretch there. If I have an area that's really unbalanced from one side to the other, I'll go to the side that's less happy first, do the other side, and then go back to that side that needs more work. So stretching, training, anything like that. All right, because we want to get balanced as much as possible. to the ceiling, exhale, release it. Uh, you can roll yourself over to one side, swoop an arm overhead, and then start to bring it into your waist so you can push yourself up. All right, come into your straddle, wherever is comfortable for you. Move out of the way if you need. Oh, and as I do this, you are welcome oh, to uh, come forward as much as you like. 
Stretching out. If you're stretching, you're long, straight back. Folding at the waist, staying extended. Okay. All right, lovelies. Go ahead and send through your wishes for guidance. What do you need to learn and hear today from the cards? of your body energy levels and emotions oh that is wonderful that is beautiful I know many people have jumped into action recently super necessary action and um, it's important to remember to take a pause occasionally rest renew let other people step into the action space for a moment while we take a pause so that we can come back refreshed and ready all of life is cyclical, the moon, the stars, and the universe. Life inhales and then exhales again. So why should you be surprised or upset that you too have cycles? There are times when you feel energized, awake, and alive. There are other times when you feel isolated and shy. Your body too goes through pronounced cycles and changes. Celebrate these rhythms and embrace them as the essence of the lifeblood that courses through you. Various meanings of May. Female gynecological changes, starting menses or menopause, for example, are an issue for you. Make time to rest. Initiate steps to alleviate depression or lethargy. Take better care of your body. Seek support for dealing with emotional crises. Allow yourself to grieve or take time off. Know that this lull won't last forever. A doorway of opportunity has opened up and you need to walk through it now. Oh, that's beautiful. So you could be stepping into a cycle of more action, of doing, or you might need to step away from it. Either way, right? A Celtic goddess, Maeve celebrates her femininity. Her sexual appetite is legendary and she's set, been said to favor kings as her lovers. Legend says that Maeve invoked labor pains on an army seeking to invade her land and that she demanded that the battle cease during her menstrual cycle. Call upon Maeve for relief from pain associated with feminine cycles, including menstruation, labor and delivery, and menopause. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. I'm going to leave it there. I might share some more thoughts on my social medias later about Maeve, so look out for those. Um, as always, please let me know how this lands for you. I love and so appreciate hearing that this is powerful and helpful to other people. Um, sometimes we're so good at serving other folks and not always ourselves. Um, so I appreciate your reinforcement and I encourage you to go ahead and take space or jump into action as needed to start your next cycle. Um, this week in the Showgirl Temple, Charlie Sharp is taking off Wednesday to work on some other things of herself, but she will be back this Saturday with the Thick Thighs Twerk Shop and Bendy for All Bodies, which are uh, both are absolutely fabulous and I'm sure you'll enjoy. And um, let's see, we always have online burlesque videos. If you're interested in starting to learn things, um, I am always interested in hearing from you on the social medias. and. We have launched our first Becoming Babelicious program. So that's very exciting. We'll get going with that. And there should be some other specialty workshops coming very soon. And hopefully some exciting performance news. Fingers crossed everything goes well and you know we stay healthy and take care of each other. Lots of love to you. Lots of energy for the action that you are ready to take and uh, support for the space that you are ready to take as well. Be well, lovelies.